it's time for our recipe of the day. Ann Lemke from The Art of Entertaining is here to show us how to make goat cheese pie. And we have special guest Ed Herman with Brown and Crouppen to join our Friendsgiving today. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like that. Part of Friendsgiving. Yes, it makes yes. me feel special. Welcome, guys. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you. Well, good. Well, okay, so today we're making goat cheese pie, and I actually have the crust right here. And this is actually graham crackers. It's a cup of graham crackers, and we're gonna add in, oh, I Looks think like my butter got a little uh, coagulated oh, here, yeah. so, <laughs> while I was talking. But anyway, you mix that in with it, and you make it into a crust, which I'm sure you guys have all done. Easiest crust in the world. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. very simple. And you can buy the graham crackers just like that. You they come can. in a little box. You don't have exactly. to chop anything exactly. up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's good. Oh, you know that. He's I know that. I, I went through, I got he here. Yeah. Yeah. No more things I looked walk. over this, I see the whole thing <laughs> You're already. way more prepared than we are for this segment. Well, it's, you know, you have to get to the supermarket and see what they have. Anyway, I'm making the crust, but then I would put it into this I, you know, this yeah. is actually a cheesecake pan, push spring form pan. Let me ask Ed, do you have to put butter on that to? You know, you don't actually, it, it depends. I don't think I you did, have to. I did grease you, you don't, <laughs> but you didn't really have to because that's a quick release pan. It's true, true. So, oh, but it does yeah. come out better if you do. Put a little bit on there, but you're yeah. Yeah. Let me just hand the reins over to you. Well, I'm just day. saying, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, you're, you're new host, everyone. There you go. Know, My God, this is complicated. We have with us today Ed Herman from Brown and Crouppen. <laughs> no, no, we already no, did that. Yeah. We already, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, we'll you don't get need back that. to the rest of the okay, okay, so Stay focused, okay? We have the whole rest of the show. There's nothing else on today. <laughs> Is that right? What's there next, you go. Ann? Next, we have a little bit of chopped green onion that I diced up. And I actually already oh. sauteed it, so it would make it a little bit easier. But it only takes like a minute in the pan, and I put in also a half a stick of butter. Yeah, okay? but that's not a lot. Because right. you know what people think, you hear half a stick and it a sounds like a lot. But that's a half a stick for this entire thing. Okay. And you're only going to eat a little bit of it. Oh, okay. Thank that's you, Ed. Thank you. That's it. People so miscalculate. So it's diet food, in other words, right? Look, well, you know what? It yeah. looks healthy to okay. me. It's covered with all sorts of apricots and cranberries and stuff. It that's free. I agree. I yeah. agree. It's very healthy. So anyway, you saute that up a little bit. Everything's getting a little cold. I, had it, I should have had the burner on. But um, anyway, and then I would burner. add this. <laughs> into my goat cheese oh, and, and cream cheese. Can we do that? Can you, you go can ahead? You yeah. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah. Yeah, let's do you want to mix well, it up? I'll put it in here. Now, do you, do you on something like this, you can straight mix this. This doesn't have to be any kind of folding. No, because you who can cares? straight mix it. And a lot of Look times I can do we see use on the like overhead a hand camera? mixer at home, but I, I thought it would be loud and whatever. So it I didn't be. bring one. It so I thought I made it very soft, which you can do as well. This is very soft. Right? And you can just mix it in. And the goat cheese, you'll be able to really taste that. So it's eight ounces of goat cheese and eight ounces of cream cheese mixed together. Do Yum. you use with, just the Philadelphia cream cheese or are I you do. comfortable with Schnucks brand? You know brand? what? I do Schnucks brand. I'm cool it with that. It doesn't matter. They all They're all the, the same, same, right? As long as it's not diet. I don't like Dana, the, we can just the go light home. stuff. We don't need to be <laughs> here. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll, we'll taste it. We'll, we'll just eat. Listen, you guys we'll let you do know how it goes. do this we put this in the Yeah, we're going to do it. We're here. Let's just do it. So now again. You can start eating. Yeah, please, you guys. But I mean, this is where we want to And there's a knife there. How do you dig it? Do you cut this like a pie? Yes. You do. You do. Because you don't want to start a fight, you know. No, totally. Now, now, good job. Eh? the wrong way, and okay, it we'll do it matter. the right way. Okay. So we're basically going to flatten this down. <laughs> exactly. Just like that. Now, okay. oh, look at how nice. perfect. He did right. a really Well, you nice don't want to get a lot on the sides. Right. Yeah, they can see it on the overhead. They, they, okay, good. This is an experience. A lot of people see me. They think. We know right. he can eat. I think I got through it. But can he Can he prep? And he's good at law. Right. I have but a question. Are you supposed to eat a whole slice or are you supposed no. to dip? Kind of Just like, come eat, on. Eat, eat it's, like, out. it's like cheese. Take a thing off the cheese. Like the, you oh got it. Oh. I even gave you a Damn, cheese. Oh. I love a pea. The cheese kind of sore, I'm everyone. Sorry, I've never, I don't just, eat goat cheese pie. Oh you know, God, just cut a little bit of that. Oh, it's like that. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. We're oh, gonna yeah. put the apricot. Isn't that great? On. I love it. Tell it's them what so your simple. secret ingredient is on the apricot. Okay, so this is apricot preserves, and I put in a tablespoon of Grand Marnier, so which is right awesome. Right on the top. And I mean, well, the flavor that it gives it—you can taste it, can't you? Oh, absolutely. And if someone oh. can't make this at home, they can always come into your shop. Yes, please. Art oh. of Entertainment, right Thank in Kirkwood. You. We have it available today. It is amazing. Easier Isn't that awesome? But I was going to say, if you do do it at home, you know, if you make it at home, which it's you guys are getting great at all of this. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> you could still even do it. I'll take credit. And, um, and you could actually take half of it and put it in your freezer and pull it out for, you know, Christmas or something, too. Because it's also pretty for, you know, put a little green onion on the top, make it look a little more. And you got to try this. I am going to try it. And then let me just say this. You're going to have to chill this in the refrigerator for how long? 
for three to <laughs> three hours or overnight. I so either so. one is great. Overnight. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, you guys Thank are you sitting over there bite. eating. Uh, <laughs> you can find this recipe anything. after the show. The Art of Entertaining is located off Big Ben Boulevard. The A of E.com is their website. Final mm. thoughts, Ed? Outstanding. Okay. Outstanding. I love that. You now, you don't Thank talk you. with food in your mouth, though. Like, I know. What's that? You made him. <laughs>